test the convergence of the series thus when you look after the general form of this series can be written like this 1 3 5 and here it is 1 2 3 2 3 4 3 4 5 so this can be replaced by this general term 2n minus 1 by n into n plus 1 into n plus 2 so this general term becomes un now i am going to simplify this i am going to take n here commonly outside this n commonly outside and this n commonly outside so when i simplify i'll get I'll, i can cancel this n and this n and i'll get 1 by n square into 2 minus 1 by n divided by 1 plus 1 by n into 1 plus 2 by n so when i look after i can consider my bn as 1 by n square so i have my bn i have my un so i am going for the comparison test to check out the convergence that is limit n tends to infinity of un by vn now limit of n tending to infinity of un by vn is equal to this so i can cancel this 1 by n square 1 by n square now when i substitute the limit n tending to infinity in this i'll be getting it as 2 by 1 into 1 so which is equal to 2 so this two which i have obtained is finite and non zero so when i say that it is finite and non zero u n v n converge together converge or diverge together so in order to find this i go for my p series test now my p series test is for my v n my v n is 1 by n square my v n is 1 by n square so when i compare this with this i am going to find the value of my p so my p is equal to 2 which is greater than 1 so when this is greater than 1 it is convergent so summation vn n tending to 1 to infinity is convergent so when my vn is convergent it implies that my un is also convergent so summation n tending to infinity of un is convergent